She was the queen of crime writers, Phyllis Dorothy James, creator of the poetry-loving detective Adam Dalgleish. I think I am fascinated by time. I suppose I'm fascinated also by death, but very fascinated by time. Tremendously aware of the passing of time, inexorably passing. And of course, as you get older, it passes more quickly. And aware, too, of the sort of dark shadows which the past and childhood can throw over the present. Television and film adaptations brought her work to a wider audience. It's hard for me to look at you. He had your eyes. So why did you come to me? I trust you. I think she was curious. I think she was fascinated with why people did what they did. But also as a, as, as a fan of detective fiction and somebody who'd absorbed all the, all the great works of detective fiction, she could craft a fantastic puzzle if she wanted to. In later years, she became less interested in the puzzle, you know, in the, in the simple pleasures of the mist, solving the mystery. But that was always there. She always honoured that tradition and always put great puzzles in there. But she started being much more than that, you know. Uh, her books were always much more than simple crossword puzzles. There was an awful lot going on. For her, it was all about character. P.D. James sat on the Conservative benches in the House of Lords as Baroness James of Holland Park and was a BBC governor for five years. Several crime writers took to Twitter to pay their respects. Ian Rankin said, So sad about P.D. James. Every event I did with her was a joy. Sharp intellect, ready wit, she will be missed. Val McDermott said, I salute the great P.D. James for so many reasons. Today I've lost a friend as well as a teacher. There was nothing cosy about Phyllis. Patricia Cornwell said, R.I.P. P.D. James, and thanks for encouraging me when I was getting started. Unconventional and with a great eye for detail, she leaves behind a rich literary legacy that ensures her name will live on as one of the finest crime writers ever. Enda Brady, Sky News.